Welcome to the series finale of season two of Landscape Adventures. Today I am trying to recreate one of the most iconic shots which despite having spent 12 years here on the south coast I have yet to capture. So why don't you come with me today as I explore Seaford Head. This is my second attempt to film the series finale. I filmed an episode last weekend that was just so, so bad, so dull. I mean, I know these aren't the most interesting things in the world unless you're really into it, but honestly, last week's was so dull that I'm just not gonna release it. I mean, if I ever get to the point where there's enough people interested that they, I can do a Patreon or something like that, then maybe I'll release it as a bonus episode or something, but it is very, much well and truly staying in the archives for now later this week i'm moving back to leicester and so i've only got a few days left in the south i was thinking about where i could go and i was thinking about revisiting locations like i've talked about before but i realized that actually there's one shot which i have never done that is quite iconic and that is the shot of the seven sisters and a couple of houses from seaford head so that is my plan today as always I'm up against it time-wise. A lot of things went wrong. I wanted to leave at one o'clock, but I then realized that I'd got other things to do that I'd forgotten about. I'd got various deadlines, and before I knew it, it's 10 past two. However, where I'm going, the light is gonna be fantastic around sunset, and although I'm gonna be shooting over the cliffs, there's lots of shots in the opposite direction as well, which is where the sun will be setting. So I'm hoping there'll be some fantastic light, especially given we've got this wonderful broken cloud in the sky. We've got a lot of natural light and we've got a lot of cloud, but with the blue sky shining through it. So I'm hopeful this is gonna give me something really interesting. I am against it though. I've got to get Petra on the way. So I guess without any further ado, I'll see you at the car park. Okay, I'm here. I'm really excited because I feel like anything could happen. The sky is just doing weird and wonderful things. I mean, I've had some horrible grey overcast skies, but just to the left of me, there's a wonderful bit of break in the cloud and some amazing light coming through it. So this could really go any way and um, I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get out and get shooting. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I bloody love my wellies. I'm gonna do a little video at the end of this series about things that people don't tell you about landscape photography, which I'm hoping will be quite interesting. But a spoiler alert. Ooh. Oh, some really nice colors here as well. But yeah, spoiler alert, I love my wellies. What they do is they give you an ability to to go to places that other people aren't. I wish I'd invested in wellies sooner, both financially and emotionally. Because you come to places like this, where there's you know a fair amount of tourists around, or locals, whatever they are, and they're all going to the same place. And if you've got wellies, you can go to the places they're not gonna go. I love wellies. Well, because I'm generally contrary as a person, I've come off the path that would take me to where I was hoping to get that iconic shot I was talking about earlier. But look at this, look at the light on these cliffs. It's absolutely fantastic. It's like a, a shot of light coming through the clouds and just highlighting particular parts of the cliffs. I've taken a few shots from a few different angles. It's not the iconic shot, but I do like it. And I'm gonna head back up when I'm finished here or when I think I'm finished here, and I'm gonna get that shot that I was talking about. But for the moment, I'm enjoying being away from everyone else and just exploring this area. There's also a tanker on the sea behind me as well which I'm just hoping will move into a position where there's some nice light coming through the cloud at the moment it's a bit of a nothing shot so I've not gone for it but hopefully something interesting will happen in the sky and I'll be able to get a shot from there as well unfortunately by the time I got to the shot it was a bit too close to the sun so it's now disappeared into the reflections of the sun. It is so gorgeous here. It is so peaceful here. It's lovely. The noise of the waves, I mean you can tell the sea's quite fierce today. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The light on the cliffs is something else. The way it keeps changing, it's just I could watch it for hours. It's fascinating. There's also a little bit of cliff down here behind me as well with a bit of beach. I've sort of done some shots of that where the ship would have been. 
I'm gonna take a few more shots down here before I head back up and try and get the shot. I'm actually even thinking that I might not prioritize that shot just yet, because at the moment, the version of it that I'm gonna get is the same as everybody else. Whereas if I wait a little bit, and if I leave it to near the end, well, one or two things will happen. Either it'll go really badly and I'll get a horrible shot that's not worth anything, or I could get some really nice color in the sky to really differentiate it from the standard shot that you find online. I'm gonna have a think about it. But I'm really enjoying this at the moment. I had no idea you can actually get to the beach down here. Look at this, it's fantastic. I've spotted a shot down here that I want. We've got some nice rocks in the sea with the Seven Sisters in the background and some nice greeny bits of moss and things on the rocks. I'm gonna go down there and try and take that shot. This is just gorgeous. I ended up cracking the filters out. I don't think I've got a shot that I want. I've realized what the danger is here is there's so much going on that it's very easy to try and get everything into one picture. And I think what I've been trying to do is get the flow of the water with the Seven Sisters in the background. And I think in one picture together, it's possibly too much. I couldn't quite manage to isolate one of the rocks that I wanted to to make it an interesting picture. So I've kind of sacrificed bits of what I want. And I think ultimately I'm gonna end up with a picture that I don't feel is particularly satisfactory. It's really hot here. I can I actually take this off now? I'm gonna have a go at these green rocks as I talked about. I think, bearing in mind what I've just said, I'm gonna isolate them rather than put them against the backdrop of the Seven Sisters. I'll probably try both anyway and see how it works out. But I think they're interesting enough on their own and they've got some interesting light on them which is providing quite a nice contrast as well. Maybe I'll use the filters and slow it down a bit as well, slow the water down a bit and see what I can get from that. There's also a little cave down here as well. And on the way back, I'm gonna go slightly into the sea. I'm just gonna check the tide times before I stay here too long. I'm gonna go slightly into the sea and take a shot from there. Uh, I say in the sea, I'm gonna be standing on the rocks, so it's gonna be safe. And just get a picture of the little cave because I think it's absolutely fascinating. I can't believe I've not been here in 12 years of living here. This is just absolutely stunning. surprise you to know that at the end of the world there's no phone signal so I couldn't check the tide times. I've been down to the rocks and I've taken what shots I can but to be quite honest they're pretty much pot shots. I'm feeling a little unsafe because I don't know the tide times and so I'm gonna head back I mean it's literally 20 yards that way back up the steps so it's not like I'm miles away but the fact that there's no one else here makes me think that other people are more sensible and know things that I don't. So I'm gonna start heading back up, I think. And it just feels like such a wasted opportunity. Honestly, I'm, I'm just absolutely gutted. If I'd known this was here, if I'd known what I was coming to, I would have checked the time tide times before I got here. I would have planned a bit better. I would have had more shots in mind. As it is, I mean, this is the last time I'm gonna be on the South Coast for a while, so it feels like a real missed opportunity. But when I'm back this way, I am definitely definitely revisiting this location because the, the light and the sun and the beach and the cliffs and the water is just absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if you can see this but nature just taught me a lesson. <laughs> I'm, uh, I didn't get that shot of the cove that I was going back for because as I was getting into position I got hit by a giant wave and I'm now drenched. Also it turned out all the clever people were around the corner so I wasn't alone they were just out of my sight but uh, I think I've got a cloth in my bag. Uh, the camera's soaked, lens is okay bizarrely, camera's soaked. Let's give it a wipe down get my breath back and um, carry on. The cliffs are still looking absolutely gorgeous and um, I'm really looking forward to getting this shot but I need to just... <sighs> I need to just dry out first. <laughs> I 
Right, all dried out apart from that little bit of rain on the lens that I can now see as I'm filming this and I'm gonna head back and get this shot that I came out here for. The sky is gorgeous, the sun is saying there's some lovely colours in the sky, the cliffs are still glowing. I've taken a couple of pot shots here, let's see if we can get this shot that was the main mission of the day. Well I'm on the way to where I want to take the shot but as you can see the cliffs are still glowing behind so I've taken a few shots on the way here and to be honest it's a little bit embarrassing because because the conditions are so good and the subject speaks for itself so anyone can take a good photo in these conditions I mean whether it's an interesting photo is a matter of opinion I suppose. Things are about to get interesting though because I don't know if the camera will bring this out but as we turn around here you can maybe see that there's a little bit of purple and pink in the sky. Now in my experience when I've shot in Peacehaven and Newhaven which are a little bit further that way when the sun goes down over here the pink and the purple tends to wrap itself round the other side as well. Now it takes a while for that to happen so I might be waiting a little while but when that happens I think potentially we've got a very different shot and a very interesting moving moody dramatic shot. Ooh, and the uh, lighthouse light has just come on now as well. So that's a little bit more interest to add to the shot as well. Let's see how this goes. It is done. I've taken the shot. I've done a, a portrait version of it as well. It's a pretty standard shot. You can see there's a, a nice leading path down here to the houses, which then leads out to the uh, Seven Sisters in the background. Obviously the trees aren't great at the moment. There's nothing on them. So the bushes look a little bit bare. There is starting to appear in the sky a little bit of purple though, so I'm hoping this is going to get a bit more interesting. Also a minute ago I got a little bit closer and took a different version of it, which I think I prefer. So I think when the sky is doing something interesting I'll probably go and recreate that shot as well. So I've got two versions of the same shot but one with a slightly more interesting sky. Also I've completely neglected Cookmere Haven behind me here. I mean you can see I've done the other side of Cookmere Haven before but you can see it's just got these gorgeous, well Cookmere Haven is a gorgeous winding river. I'm going to have to engage my brain properly with that one though. I've still not taken any shots of Cookmere Haven that I really like. So if I'm going to do that, that's a whole other exercise for me. That's more mental gymnastics than I can be bothered with today. I'm really happy with this so far. So let's see how the sky develops and let's see what happens to these pictures. Look at the sky, it's absolutely amazing. I think I've got the shot that I wanted. My own version of an iconic south coast shot. We've got these purples in the sky. I've got a slightly different composition to what we normally see, in part given to the bareness of the trees and what have you around here. But I'm really happy with this and, and I've bracketed a few shots but I'm pretty sure most of the single shots are going to be fine as well. So I think I've got something that I can be really happy with here and uh, this feels like a great place to end the series. Tired, I'm hungry, I need some water, I'm absolutely drenched, my equipment is drenched, my tripod needs a proper clean again, that's probably going to be the end of it. But I have had the most amazing day, it's been so much fun out here, I really wish I'd come out here sooner. I think I've got the shot I wanted, I came here to get the iconic shot of the Coast Guard houses against the Seven Sisters and I've got it with my own version, a slightly different composition with that wonderful purple in, in the sky in the background, I'm really really happy with that. I've also just taken some shots on the way back as well. I spotted a little bit of water next to the barn and got some nice reflection shots. Hopefully they're gonna come out and be something quite interesting because I had some nice colors in the sky against the barn and reflecting in the water. It's just been so much fun. I can't believe I've not been out here before. It's just a wonderful location. Had I researched the tide times, I would have spent a bit more time down in what I've now found out is called Hope Gap. Apparently it's where the film was filmed with Bill Nye recently, some gentleman told me on the way up here. And I'd love to go back there and spend some proper time around there. But this brings us to the end of season two. Now don't worry, there are more videos coming. Now I'm gonna do something slightly different moving forward, at least in the, in the short term. I hope you're gonna enjoy what I'm doing. I'm gonna be talking about some of my experiences while I've been out, which I think will be quite interesting. I will of course resume landscape adventures when I'm settled. I am moving house this week, so when I'm settled and able to go out, I'll be able to film some more videos in a completely different area, which should hopefully, again, uh, lead me to some really exciting finds. I'm really looking forward to that. That brings us to the end 
as always, please, please, please like the video if you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to everyone who's done that. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed as well. That really means the world to me. I really can't thank you enough. And as always, I want to hear what you've got to say. So please leave, leave me a comment. I'd love to know where you think I should go next as well. Because I'm going to be in the Midlands going forward. So I can pretty much go anywhere in the country relatively easily. So do let me know where you think I should go. So until next time, thank you again for coming with me. And I'll leave you with the pictures from today.